In this video, I'm going to share with you the three biggest misconceptions that I see around people who are trying to learn Photoshop or video editing, right? And these beliefs are simply holding you back on your journey. So I hope by me going over these beliefs and explaining them to you why they are not true, I hope this is going to help you speed up your personal journey. You can probably tell I'm a little bit sick. Uh, I got the flu, but I still wanted to make this video because I see these false beliefs, these lies are holding so many of you guys aspiring video editors and photoshoppers back so let's get right into it belief number one is that editing softwares are super complicated and that you need to be a tech person if you want to master these now this is simply false okay and here's why learning editing whether it's photo editing or video editing is kind of like driving in my uh, opinion right do you remember the first time that you got behind the wheel of a car, right? You probably looked something like this. I know I personally looked like this. I was scared shitless. I was overwhelmed and it simply wasn't that good of an experience, right? Because there are simply too many things to pay attention to. You need to pay attention to things like stop signs, yield signs, staying in the correct lane so you're not hitting anyone with your car. You need to be shifting gears, right? If you're driving a manual, you need to focus on adding gas, the right amount of gas. You need to make sure you're not breaking the speed limits. You need to, you know, brake and slow down at the right times. You need to signal when you're changing lanes or turning. So many things, right? It's insanely overwhelming the first time you get in the driver's seat and actually go into traffic. Now, the first time you suck quite a lot, right? The first time you drive. And then the second time you suck a little bit less, but you're still pretty bad. By the hundredth time you're driving, you are not too bad, but you know, you're still not good. But then the thing that happens by the thousand time you are behind the wheel is you are sucking so little that you are actually considered good. At least most people. There are some people who will never learn how to drive, but you know, that's a very, very small minority. Most people, by the thousand time they are driving, they are actually quite good at it. Now, you might be wondering, like, what's the thing that happens between the first and the thousand time you are driving? Well, how do you go from this, right, being scared shitless and uh, yeah, just in general, not really uh, being on top of things to something like this, kind of you feel like you are Vin Diesel from Fast and the Furious by the thousand time you are driving, right? Well, you basically download a new skill set into your brain. That's what happens. And the things that were a struggle in the beginning become second nature to you, like shifting gears, for example, when you're driving a car, right? And the same thing is true when it comes to learning editing, video and photo editing. This shit is overwhelming at first, right? Like when you first open up Premiere or even the first 10 times or 100 times, you might feel overwhelmed. You do not, not, you are not exactly sure like where you should be looking. You don't even remember where everything is. You don't even know what you should be looking for, right? Like even with Photoshop, there are so many different settings, so many different things you could mess around with uh, and you are just not sure about 99% of things and how they work. But if you break it down into small building blocks, it becomes easy, right? That's what you need to do. You need to learn what are the building blocks that make up the skill set of video editing or photo editing, and then learn them slowly, one by one. Learn the foundations first, right? Then learn the intermediate skills, and then learn the specialized, very advanced knowledge that you need for whatever kind of work you want to create. Now, the second misconception that I see with a lot of people is that learning how to edit professionally takes years. This is what they believe, right? And they think that you need to be simply burning your time hundreds and hundreds of hours like you can see on this picture. And well, this is actually true for 99% of people, right? Myself included. It took me a long time to become a professional editor, but there's a reason for that. And there are actually that 1% of people who are learning editing who can pretty much cut down their learning time by 10x or even 50x in some cases. Now, here's how they do it. Number one, they approach learning the software with a game plan, right? They don't just go into it like blindly trying to figure everything out on their own. They either like buy a course on editing or they hire a coach who can teach them, right? 
or uh, or they go whatever read books about it it doesn't really matter but they go and find someone who knows how to do it and uh, kind of like you know goes into learning the whole software with a game plan and again this doesn't have to be expensive like if you don't have the money for a, a course or coaching or anything like that just try to find some online guides at least or some really good books that will give you a roadmap to go into it with right second uh, thing they do these people who can cut down their learning time by so much is that they get professional feedback on their edits right and uh, yeah this can help you so much when you're just starting out because uh, basically, professional people can give you the kind of advice that you need in that certain moment. And especially if you can, you know, send them your exact clips or exact, you know, Photoshop files to review, they can easily pinpoint what are the things you could improve to make it more efficient or just to make it more professional in general. And this is one of the fastest ways to learn if you can get feedback personally from someone who is who is better at the skill set than you are it's the same thing as if you were you know a skateboarder you were in the skate park and you did a trick and then you could have a professional skateboarder look at it he could give you or she could give you the exact kind of tr uh, tips you know that you need to implement to improve your tricks this is the exact same process right now third is you want to learn directly from people who are ahead of you right you just don't just want to like learn from a bunch of random people uh you want to learn from people who can create the exact kind of videos and exact kind of you know uh stuff that you are trying to learn so if you are trying to become a youtube editor then probably you should be learning from people who are really good at making youtube videos if you want to make Netflix documentary style movies, right, or you want to get into cinema, then you should be learning from those kind of people. Or if you just want to do like short form stuff, learn from those kind of people, right? But either ways, you should be learning always from people who are ahead of you and not just trying to figure everything out on your own if you want to learn fast. And this is the key. I'm not saying you cannot figure everything out randomly on your own, right? You can. But if you want to learn fast and you don't want to waste hundreds of your hours of your time, you want to learn directly from people ahead of you. Now, I had to learn these things the hard way with years of trial and error and countless frustrated hours wanting to simply smash my computer, right? I spent one and a half years trying to become a good video editor, but I was making really slow progress because I was relying on random, low quality and confusing YouTube videos and tutorials. Now, I hope you guys find my tutorials, you know, enjoyable because that's my main goal with this channel is to teach in a way that is easy to follow along and, and you know, enjoyable. But still, I had to go through so many shitty tutorials, right? But on the summer of 2018, when I was just 15 years old, right? I landed a summer job at a local media company in Hungary. Now, this was me at 15 years old. And as you can see, I was like literally sitting right next to these pros um, at this media company and I was absorbing all the knowledge from them 24 seven. We were working, working like 12, 14 hour shifts. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> I don't know how that company didn't get like sued by the government uh, for you know, making us work that many hours. But anyways, I was learning so much from them, right? Again, this is me at 15 with the camera learning from these uh, guys who were doing this as their job for 10 plus years. And during this summer, I learned more from being around professionals 24 seven in a few weeks than I learned in years and years of boring and frustrating YouTube tutorials. And you can also shortcut your learning by shadowing professionals. Now, why is job shadowing such an effective way to learn? It's simple. It's because you're watching someone work on an actual edit and you will pick up on a ton of tiny habits that you normally wouldn't find in tutorials or guides because these are habits that, you know, are formed over over years and built over years. And, uh, you know, when you are trying to just present to thousands of people in a tutorial, you're not really able to, you don't really want to like show all the smallest details and explain why you do everything because it's just simply not, you know, a good way uh, for the YouTube algorithm because you would go into super small tangents, you know. Now, after teaching thousands of people how to edit, I will make this bold claim that I think you can learn, to be honest, 95% of the things that you need for editing in just six to eight weeks if you have the right mentors and you have a roadmap to learn this skill set.
Now, in fact, I heard this thing from a mentor of mine, Alex Hormozzi, who is a nine figure entrepreneur, also super big on YouTube. So if you aren't watching his stuff yet, make sure to follow him. I learned so much from Alex, but he tweeted this and I really resonated with this message that you can get good enough at almost anything in 20 hours of focused effort. The problem is most people spend years delaying the first hour. So you could get probably good enough at editing to the point where you could actually edit for clients, at least like short form content or anything like that. And you could make money with this skill set. But most people delay learning editing or delay photoshopping or whatever for so long that, you know, they never get into it. Number three misconception is that learning editing is dreading and boring AF. And now, look, I totally understand why you feel this way. It's because the reason why most people have a negative experience with editing and learning editing is because they pay for the expensive software, right? They pay all this money to get video editor, to get Photoshop, to get all this stuff. And they usually start watching someone random on YouTube teaching it. And these videos are usually not actionable. They are not interactive. You know, they don't, they are made in a boring monotone voice. It's hard to follow along. And that just makes us like frustrated, right? And even worse is when you get started editing uh, and you run into a problem and you don't know how to solve it because simply you don't even know where to look for the solution. You don't even know what the problem is called and you don't have someone to go to go to with your problem. So you try to go into different Facebook groups like Reddit, you know, groups and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, a pain in the ass. Let's be honest, like it's just hard if you don't have someone to go to. So. What you want to do, in my opinion, to overcome this uh, and to not, you know, have this be your reality is to make learning fun in a way uh, where you get, you know, interactive like training, professional help from someone and community, right? So try to become part of a community, whether that's a paid or free community, you know, it's up to you and whatever you can allow yourself at the moment. But if you can just become part of a community where you can also learn from other editors, right? And like uh, mentors or whatever, it can make your learning process so much faster and more fun. So I hope you guys found this video interesting uh, about the three biggest misconceptions that people have when it comes to learning editing. Now, I'm going to plug my program because I've worked really hard on it. So if you do want to learn from me personally, uh, how to edit videos, how to uh, create like amazing thumbnails in Photoshop and stuff like that, and uh, also how to grow on YouTube, how to master YouTube SEO, uh, then check out Magnetic Editing in the description uh, where we also have you know, we monthly feedback calls with the group members. You can submit your work. You can ask any questions there. Um, so that is my kind of like paid private community, but I will try to come out with something for free as well. So there is zero gatekeeping and you know, you can also get more of a personal help uh, on this channel, even if you don't have the budget for it. But if you do, I, uh, I highly recommend you to get in there. It's going to level up your editing and speed up your process so much. So. Hope you guys found this video again insightful, interesting. Check out the program in the description if you are interested and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.